Bicycles have been around in one form or other for a very long time. Countless designs have been used over the years, but they're all pretty much the same. You take a frame and wheels, add a seat and some sort of propulsion, and there you go. A bicycle, velocipede, or a penny farthing. But lately, cycling technology has really taken off, with manufacturers using advanced materials and designs. Al Nordine from a company called Fallbrook Technologies recently brought over a couple of bikes to our studios for me to test out. His company builds a piece of technology called a continuously variable planetary transmission. As a tribute to Leonardo da Vinci, the new Vinci CVT, as they call it, works a lot like a CVT in a car. It can change ratios without steps and has infinitely adjustable range. But that is where the similarities end. The new Vinci transmission uses no gears, pulleys, or belts. Instead, it has a group of ball bearings lined up between two metal plates. It transmits torque through the bearings and can change ratios by tilting the balls to different angles between the plates. The whole setup is very simple, yet very effective. Listen in. There's been all kinds of CVTs out there. Some of them haven't done so well. What's different about yours? Well, a couple things. Number one, we package very well. As you can see, we're the first CVT ever to be on a bicycle, and that is a real revolutionary step for CVTs. The other thing that's unique about us, we're traction drive. So you have a device that forms a unique property with the lubricant uh, inside the device that actually helps transfer torque. So the fluid is transferring the torque in the device. And we're working with Valvoline on, on the fluid. An another uh, piece of uh, unique uh, value is we're very low cost as a manufactured device. You can reuse similar components across a number of transmissions. An example is we're putting a bike transmission in several other small vehicles, both electric powered and gas powered. We're especially, um, I guess, unique in the sense that we help out electric motors operate at a constant speed and we can vary the speed through our mechanical CVT. Okay, you've got them on bicycles. What, what's the range of applications this could have? The range of applications goes from a small application like bike all the way up to utility wind class, uh, utility turbines, wind class turbines. So you've got the big wind turbines out in the desert, out in the mountains, and they use a, a geared transmission. And the Department of Energy's laboratories actually studied our transmission for utility class wind turbines. So tractors, automobiles, uh, anything powered gas, human, or electric. Okay, we're automotive, so automotive-wise, what do you see the, the potential for this transmission? The potential is to act as a automatic transmission that's affordable, that has no gears, so you have no shifting of gears, a very smooth acceleration, improvement in, obviously, fuel economy. Uh, that's one of the huge benefits we provide. But it is also something that's scalable, so you can build a family of transmissions, scale it up and down very easily, and the manufacturer obviously has an affordable uh, tooling investment. Also with uh, automotive, electric powertrains are very important, hybrid, and we have a, a huge advantage in that area, working with electric motors. And there are other places off um, the vehicle we can use as well, but we're kind of keeping that um, to ourselves right now. I was really impressed with the new Vinci transmission. It's smoother than a geared bike is and has way more adjustability, plus it can be used in a bunch of other applications. Now with sky-high oil prices, manufacturers of all kinds of things are starting to look for ways to improve efficiency, and the CVT is one way to do it. In fact, you could say we're living in an efficiency renaissance as concerns about global warming and finite oil reserves move to the forefront. You could also say the new Vinci CVT is a product of its time not at all unlike the man it's named after.